Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to utilize this Maps and Line title inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Alright, so you can download this sample from our map pack by just clicking the link in the description below. You'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. You will get a couple of things in the folder. You have the license, the installation instruction and the DRFX file. There is no font for this one. Uh, it's only the map and the line. So just double click on the DRFX file to prompt open that window that asks you if you want to install it. And then you can just click install. Then once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can just go over to effect then title, video to studio, and then you can just scroll down, down there to sample. If you already have some sample from us, you will find them there as well. And here we have the world map that we can just drag into our timeline. And we have the line that we can just drag in our timeline as well. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit in my timeline so we can see it properly. If we play it, as you can see, the map itself is not animated. There is only the line that is animated and the line has been stacked on top of the map. For now, let's just disable the track with the line and we're just going to focus on the map. So here we have a couple of options in the inspector. First, we have the size and position. So I'm going to start by reducing the overall size of the map by 0.2. You can also adjust the overall position of the map and put it to the side, for example, if you want to leave more space for some text right here. Right now, I'm just going to double click on that setting to reset it to default. You have also the possibility to change the color of the map. So right now it's gray, but we could choose to make it red, for example. Another possibility is here the shadow. So we can just increase the shadow strength to have it appear right behind it. We can choose the drop angle of that shadow. We can have the drop distance as well and the overall blur of the shadow. You can also adjust the color, but I will suggest to leave it as black. Right now, I'm just gonna double click on everything to reset it. And I'm just gonna increase the shadow strength a tiny bit. Another possibility is right here, the glow. So you can just increase the gain if you want your map to glow a little bit more. You can also play around with the glow size and the blend right here. Now, last but not least, we have the background. By default, it's at one in opacity, but we could decide to remove that background and add whatever video or background we want instead. So right now, I'm just gonna lift both of our title, just, just give a new track. And here, I'm just gonna bring uh, some random footage, just bring that in. And as you can see, if I go to the world map and I reduce that opacity down to zero, we gain a uh, full transparency. You can also choose to have it at half, for example, to just still have some video playing in the background, but having the map popping a lot more. But right now, let's just set up the opacity at one, delete the footage that we just bring. So now let's see how we can use that wall map with the line to create something interesting. I'm gonna just reduce here my audio track so I'm getting more space here. I'm gonna select my line and just hit D on my keyboard to enable it again. That's just a quick way to disable or enable a clip in DaVinci Resolve. You can just click D and it will just disable it. And if you click D again, it will just enable it again. As you can see, the line is animated and it can have up to six lines. So right now we don't need that many. We're just gonna choose one. So we have only two point and one line. So now I'm gonna start by placing my two points. So I'm gonna open the line tab and here I'm just gonna displace the point one and I'm gonna drop it uh, around New York. And then we're just gonna take the point two and bring it above London. Right now the point and the line are overpowering the overall map. It's too big, so we're just gonna reduce that. Here I'm gonna go to the line thickness and I'm gonna go and select 0.003. And then here I'm gonna build the circle tab and we're gonna just reduce uh, those point to 0 0.01. Here we could choose to change the color from orange to something else. So I'm just gonna do that right now. And we're gonna go for something that is more towards the red. Now to make our line pop a little more, I'm just gonna close those two tabs and I'm gonna go over to the glow. And here we're just gonna increase the gain a little bit to make that line and those dots pop a little bit more. Now if we play it, we got our map with our line, but I would like to take it a step further using some element from all three starter pack and some element that are available directly in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing that I would like to do is bringing some name tag here to represent New York and to represent London. 
to do that, I'm going to go over to Titles, Video Editor Studio, and I'm going to just scroll to Free Starter Pack. Then here, we're just going to scroll down and use the box number title and drag that in. If you don't already own all Free Starter Pack, you can download it with the link in the description below. Now in box number, I'm going to go to text control and here we're just going to write London. And then here I'm going to go to text background control and we're just going to increase the width. Then we're going to open the size and position tab and we're just going to reduce the size by a lot and then drag that right above all point. Now I'm going to select my box number title and I'm going to hold option and drag that above or you can also do a copy and paste. Then here on the second title, we're going to go to text control and we're going to replace London with New York. I'm going to adjust the position to drag it above the New York point. And then here, as you can see, the background is clipping with the text. So we're just going to go down to text background control and we're going to increase the width a little bit. Now already, if we play it, it's much better. But in my opinion, the line is a bit too slow. So I'm going to go over to the line and I'm going to adjust the animation from two seconds to one second. And now the line animation is a lot quicker. Now it started to look good, but I would like to add an animation in for my map. We on purpose didn't add an animation in to give more flexibility to use transition instead. So you can really have a map animation that is suiting your project. So here I'm just going to select my line and my text, and I'm just going to displace them a little bit just to have only my map here at the beginning so we can see clearly what we're doing. So here you could go to video transition. The good thing with not having an animation in with the map is that you can pick whatever animation you want using the video transition. So for example, here, if I were to just scroll down and I wanted to use uh, the paint on, I could just take that and drag it here at the beginning of my clip. And now uh, that paint on transition will be just the animation in of my map. So that's how you can create the animation in and out of your map. You can obviously just reduce or extend that animation. And I think it just offers you more flexibility. Right now, we're just going to go a step further and just stack two maps together to create something a tiny bit more complex. So I'm just going to delete that first transition. I'm going to just select the world map, hold option on my keyboard and duplicate it right below it. And I'm just going to go to the first world map right here reduce the opacity uh, to zero of the background. So there is no background on this map and there is a background on this one. Then here, I'm going to disable this first one by hitting D on my keyboard. And I'm going to go over on the color of the map of the second one. And here, we're just going to reduce the shade of gray to something darker. So it's blending in a lot more with the background. You're going to see in a minute why. So now the world map that is stacked on top of it, if we enable it, as you can see, get a different shade. So we're going to use that difference in shade to create an interesting animation. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go over right here and just drag the oval iris transition and put it right on this first clip. Now, if we play it, as you can see, that disparity in color is now showing where we're starting with something that is darker. And when we play it, we get something that is brighter. And that creates quite an interesting animation, in my opinion. Now we're going to do something similar right there by just displacing the world map. And here we're just going to add another transition to bring that first map in. So this time I'm just going to do something simple and adding an additive dissolve right there. And now we have the first world map that have an additive dissolve following with the circle uh, animation on the second one. And now if we play it, we get our final animation. I would just like to add a continuous zoom in. So I'm just going to extend both map so everything is flush towards the end here, just making sure that I don't have animation out for the box number. So I'm just going to scroll down and instead of replicating, I'm going to select none. And then here, same thing for the second box number, select none. So there is no animation out. Now I'm going to select all my titles and I'm going to right click and create a new compound clip. Now I'm going to go at the beginning of my compound. I'm going to drop a keyframe on the zoom. And then I'm just going to move a few frames forward when the animation is done. So around here, and then I'm just going to increase the zoom like so, just giving still a bit of space here around the edges of the map. If we play it, the animation is not very smooth. We could just smooth that out by going over here in a curve. 
select that. Then here, select those two points and choose the curve that we prefer. So here in this case, I'm just going to go with this one. And now here we go. We got all final animation. And that's very much it. Hope this video was helpful. If you like those kind of assets, we've created a full map pack that is available now on our website. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description as well. Thank you very much for watching. And again, see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.